Welcome to the Control M videos. This video is using File Watcher with Manage File Transfer. This same information applies for Advanced File Transfer, but the menus may be different depending on the version. We will start by examining the return codes that File Watcher can return. So the return codes that can be returned from the File Watcher process are 0, 1, and 7. 0 means the file was found and met the parameters. 1 means there was an error. The job failed. For whatever reason, it wasn't able to submit or it wasn't able to connect to the FTP server. And number seven, file was not processed. Either it was not found or the parameters were not met. The job ran, but it wasn't able to uh, do the file watcher process. Let's look at the configuration manager. Let's start by looking in the configuration manager at control and manage file transfer at some parameters that affect how file, tr how file Watcher works. Select Configuration Management. In the middle here you see interval between retries and number of retries. So we've got it set pretty low just for demo purposes. So it's uh, five seconds between the retries and number three retries is three. So 15 seconds is the longest it's going to watch for a file. If you needed it to be a much longer time period, you can increase both. Uh, this is the maximum number of times that it's going to run. All right, let's go look at the jobs themselves. So let's shrink the configuration manager, pull up the GUI, and I have created four jobs to show four unique uh, problems that can occur. So the first one is the file doesn't exist, so let's open this one up. So I chose my connection profile and here's the transfer information. Now the options are transfer from left to right, transfer from right to left, watch on the right, and then transfer to the left, watch on the left and transfer to the right. And for this one, we're just gonna do a watch only. So the file that we'll be looking for is, it is not going to be in this list. I've got two files, file exist, which is of zero size, and file too small, which is also of zero size. We're going to look for a file that's not here called not exist. This file could exist in the future and it's controlled by the time to wait and those parameters from earlier. So let's hit OK here. And let's go ahead and hit OK again here. Uh, I've also got the file exist but is too small so it, it's not going to meet the parameters for the job. So we come down here once again, it's set up just to watch only. We go to our advanced tab. Uh, file watcher is now active. So I set this one to be 100 bytes and I only want to look for two minutes. You can also do minimum file age, maximum file name, age, just to limit the, the files that you're looking at. So let's hit OK. So for this one, the file actually exists. And for this one, uh, it's a runtime error. And what I did was I put in a bogus uh, account name and I put a bad password in, so it's not actually going to be able to log in. So let's order these jobs. And now let's go to the monitoring domain and look at the jobs themselves. Okay, we're now in the monitoring domain and I waited for the jobs to end. So our file that existed Let's go check the output very quickly on this one. We'll see that it found the file and then it transferred the file. The return code for this one when we check it will be zero. For the file that existed but was too small, if we go to the output, you can see that it found the file, but the minimum file size is 100 bytes. And if we look at the log on this one, return code is oscompstat7. For the file that didn't exist, we'll check the output real quick, and we can see that no file is currently exists matching the name filter. You can use the use the output to change whether this ends OK or not OK, or sends email or whatnot. We check in the log for this one, you can see that it's OS comp stat 7 also. If there's an error with the process itself, it wasn't able to run the job for some reason, you'll see that the one that had the bad uh, password in the account, uh, it, the output's very different looking and a connection failed. 
And if we look in the log for this one, then it's going to be a return code 1, OSCOMPSTAT1. So remember to check your return codes. You can use the sysout to change whether the job ended okay, not okay, or notify people. And thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you found it informative and helpful. Thanks. Thank you for your time. Hope you found this video useful and informative. Please check out our other videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you.